Hi everybody, welcome to Gumpa TV. Hey guys. Brought to you by Hobbling Japan. This is episode 144. 144. One 144 scale. Gumpa TV. Actually talking about Speaking 144 that, scale. That was a pro lead in right there. Oh yeah, you're getting good mate. Um, we recently have put up an HG parts promotion. The campaign. Yeah, where um, you get basically a free runner with any HG kit you purchase from a specific list of HG that if you go to our website and we'll include it in the post, yes, it'll give you the exact list of HG 144 scales where you can get these extra runners. Mm -hmm. So these are what pieces parts said? Uh, it's parts campaign. I think they're giving you like, uh, oh, like the a weapons. little weapon a or joint, and joint yeah, parts. And joint parts so you can uh, use those with your kits because we know how uh, HG kits, the hands work. You can make get extra weapons, put it in his hand, you got a little bazooka or a machine gun. Things for the joints as well, you can do some customization. So there's just a few things to keep in mind. Yes. Uh, we've actually had a, quite a few emails about this. Mm -hmm. Look, if you purchase an HG kit from that list within the last two or three weeks, you probably would be getting the pod anyway. Depending on what Because we've been running it for a while. Yeah. Um, the big thing though is we don't know which parts you'll get. It's just a random selection. Uh, I think there's six types, but mm. they're just packed in the box randomly. Yeah. So you open the box, we take one up and we put it in your box with so your random. Don't or? request specific runners because we will not be able to help you yeah it's luck of the draw people mm -hmm. um this will only last as long as stocks last so yes maybe you might get it with your private warehouse order or your april restock there is a possibility mm -hmm. but we can't guarantee it it's as long as stocks last and look we have quite a few yeah yeah so yeah, boxes them down. yeah we, we got a few so so don't worry too much okay um yeah and that's all i really need to say okay but yeah go ahead um use the link though in this video when you go to our website to the banners and you'll be able to see a full list of the HG kits you can use this promotion with. Okay. That's all I have to say, Sid. Good, good, good. So we can get back to our regular scheduled program. Yes. Regularly scheduled program. Yes. Okay, this week in Gumpa TV, we have some new stuff yeah, here to talk about. Yeah, exciting new stuff. stuff. And we are going to talk about the high mobility Zaku in some detail here. In space, no one can hear you scream. That's right. Or, or Zoom. Or microgravity. Or mobile. Whatever people were talking Become about. Become mobile. Um, <laughs> We'll talk about this in a lot of detail. I want to show everybody everything because uh -huh. I've actually fully assembled this HG kit, which is something yeah. I stickers and everything, which is something I don't yeah, normally stickers. do with HG. And then, of course, we have the winner of the random draw for the prize kits. And, and should, actually, in the beginning, should we just go through like the rules again, just to remind sure. everyone? Yeah, when yeah. we talk about the random draw for uh, free Gunpa kits, uh -huh. which we announced at the end of the episode, the rule is you have to leave a comment on Hobby Link TV. Yes, on this episode. On this episode. Yes. So if you go to YouTube and you leave a comment there saying, I want to win the free stuff, you're not going to win the free stuff. No, you have to go to yeah. hobbylink.tv okay. to episode 144. Yeah, that's what we'll be. Yeah. So, okay, I'll, I'll put Mr. High Mobility aside here <laughs> and we'll look at the new stuff that just arrived. So we're going to start with something small and gun to build fightery. This is the Gunpla Battle Arm Arms. So is it arm just arms. arms? Well, apparently it's, it's at least two arms. <laughs> arm arms. <laughs> Okay, so it's just a standard uh, accessory kit yeah. that you can use to uh, throw onto your kits here. Okay, like. cool. Yeah, of course, Gun and Build Fighters, Gun and Build Fighters is all about the customization, and yes. creating your thing, and add all more plastic. And yeah, there you go. Support weapons. Yes, yes, support weapons, yeah. not arm arms. Well, it's arm arms. Support it's weapons. arms for your arm. Yeah. I think that's, that's right. what they're trying to say, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Never know what band that. Okay, <laughs> next one. Now, this is kind of, uh, I don't know, controversial. Oh, when we put up on the site, we talked about it. Yeah. The Mississabi. Um, it's actually in a bigger box than I thought it would it's be. It's a big box. Well, I guess I should have realized from the price range that it's going to be a bit of plastic in this box. H but uh, let's open this baby up. Yes. All right, so here we go with the Sasabi. Boom. Mississabi. Mississabi. You described this color. It was... Pastel. pastel, like I think a it's light a pastel, pastel blue. Pastel. Pastel. You know, we have this very kind of nice blue, followed by this, well, I guess, a lighter type of blue. There's more blue. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a few pieces in here for, yes, for an sizable box. And you get a stand. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's all your poly cups in there as well. And more like pastel, purpley kind of. Yeah. I kind of wasn't too interested in this kit, I gotta admit, when I saw the first images. But uh, actually, uh, seeing the, the images they use for the box, it's uh, it's not too bad. And you mentioned it's quite sizable, so you can do a yeah. lot of work on yeah, it. Yeah, you you'll want be able to. to get in there and customize it should you choose to do so. All right, there you go, the Mississabi 
Please do not miss this is fun. <laughs> yeah, it took, Tons me long, it took me a long time to think that one out. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna start with the, the universal booster. This is MG for your MG gun to build fires. This looks interesting. It actually. does look interesting. It actually um, it looks pretty wicked with all the stuff that you get. Yeah, on I like here. these sides. So uh, we're gonna things. open this one up too. Okay. Here we go with the universe universe booster UB. So uh, right away you can see you're getting lots of effect, effect parts there. Mm -hmm. These kind of clear parts, marking stickers in there as well. And check out this. This is actually quite awesome. Oftentimes to get these kind of effect parts for a kit, you would need to buy one of those limited edition Japan online shop only type of mm -hmm. exclusives. But you're actually able to get this for uh, for use with your Gundam Build Strike Build Strike full package. Comes with a stand as well because you're going to be able to make it into this little spaceship. Oh wait, and here you go, even more. Wings wow, that's for your, your build strike gun. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I was actually like quite surprised when I opened it up and saw just how much stuff is in here. So definitely more than just a backpack kind of thing. Like mm. you, can, you can do so much with this set. And all those effects really, parts, it really yeah. makes your Gundam, once you apply them, probably look real. Yeah, exactly, like if you check out the image there, yeah. you can see really kind of what images. you can do, right? Yeah. There you go, there's a lot of stuff here in this Universal Booster. Be sure yeah, to boost cool any stuff. of your Gundams. Give it a boost. All right, uh, here it is. Now this is the one people were excited to see, the Build Strike Mark II. I'm a big Mark II fan, not necessarily a big fan of the Gundam Build Fighters version of it, but it is an MG, so I'm definitely gonna be building it, and I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box right now. Okay, I, right away I open this up and I, I see things I recognize, of course, see, things I don't recognize. And in this bag are all the markings. Those are all new. And uh, these extra parts that you're going to need to make up some of this kit. Uh, but I also see these kind of runners. And if you look at the top here, it says MG Mark II 2.0. They've used these runners before on the, that kit when it came out, the 2.0 Mark II. Uh, the AUG and also the Titans. You can see you've got the, the tubing here that came with the, the, those kits as well. So that design hasn't changed much. Here's the A runner, and again, it's the Mark II 2.0. I'll put that over here. Yeah. Version 2, 2.0, the back skirts, right? So this pile is actually turning into uh, the runners that are coming from another kit. And we'll kind of separate them here on the show just to see. So here we go. Two, version 2.0. Really? Yeah, two, 2.0. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Ah, here we go. So this is listed as Build Fighters joint parts. So right here, uh, I recognize this runner. This is uh, the parts they give you to change backpacks with any of your other MGs. These first started uh, coming out with the the Build Strike full package, and we used it on the Gundam X at the time. So you're getting that again. And Gundam Mark II, it's the Build Gundam Mark II, and of course you start seeing his, his giant weapon parts here. And this is this is distinctly new right here you can tell most definitely right. yeah yeah new parts here now the the mark ii 2.0 um gundam was one of the ones that started using these kind of like plated parts for pistons for the legs so you get those as well for the feet and uh what do we got here gundam 2 version 2.0 so the feet are from the old model kit as well though there's no guarantee you're going to be using all the parts on these runners you might be swapping with some new ones and uh there's the frame and it says Mark II 2.0. So uh, we can deduce that if I move this stuff out of the way here. This is from the the 2.0 kit of the Mark II, and this is the the new stuff for the build Mark II. So you get a, a mix of both when you're building this. So it will be familiar to you, and at the same time, a little bit new. The build strike or the build gun of Mark II. Build gun of Mark II Arcs 178. Someone in the office asked actually, why is it called a build gun of you know you have to build it. Yeah, you do have to build it, but I, it's already built. I, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, Sid, I'm know. sorry. I derailed you there. You're going to have to make me do some research. I'm <laughs> totally against that. Okay, so let's go back to Mr. Heimer Billy Zaka here. Yes. We're going to talk about him in, in great detail, which yes. means it's going to take me a while to set this up because yeah. this guy comes with so much stuff. So give me a sec. So the, uh, the high mobility Zaku, Psycho Zaku, Thunderbolt version. Uh, it's got the size of a backpack already. Like I don't have any of the weapons in those uh, giant tanks on or anything. But I had to leave them off, off because I want to show that uh, this guy, well, you know, he can actually stand up. <laughs> he can do it. Yeah. Like this. 
And this is a good chance for me to show you uh, stickers. So before I talk about weapons, I'm gonna talk about stickers. And this guy has a ton of them. You can see on the skirts here, these are stickers. He has stickers on his, on his face there because he's got different colors. He has uh, stickers around his shoulder armor. And here's a sticker, and here's a sticker, and here's a sticker as well. Uh, these little gold stickers on his legs. I think there's three on each, each one. Uh, side armor has stickers. And then the, the backpack, well, you can see these, these top things, which are uh, removable if you like. Look at how many of these little circle stickers wow. you're putting on this thing, right? <laughs> on each side. See, there's another one. And then you look at the back backpack here, and just this area here, like, look at all the stickers that you've got to put on there. It's actually, it's pretty daunting work. Like, here is the sticker sheet, and I've used them all. <laughs> how long do you think it took you? Uh... Well, normally I look at an HG and I think, ah, oh, you know, I can put it together in an hour, mm -hmm. an hour and a half. Uh, this guy probably took me cl close to twice that. Okay. Ma ma partly because of stickers, mm -hmm. but also because of all the stuff he comes with. And yeah. I wanted to make sure that I did everything kind of properly for this, this uh, video. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave anything out. So uh, in this backpack, you can see these two holes here. Well, that's for these monstrous things here. The, the drumsticks. I'm gonna stick these on here, and there's a good chance he might not stand up, uh -huh. and uh, he will have to go back onto his stand. So let's just drop these on here. Turn like so. There we go. See already, he's not mm. doing so good. So it is okay. Well, yeah. It's uh, it's good that Bandai gave us what we need here, which is a stand. So I'm gonna drop him back on his stand now. Uh, just how much stuff does this guy come with? Well, allow me to show it to you. Here we go. Uh, let's try and go in order here. Let's start with these. One, two, three. Three like Zaku bazookas. And you actually uh, can put them all together so they mount all together at one time on this guy. One, two, and I'll put the third one in here. So that they're all actually uh, pretty snug. They'll mm -hmm. now move around together. And uh, I think that this is supposed to go onto this section here. Let's see. Got to check the manual for the instructions here. So if I get it wrong, I'm going to hear about it. Like so. This can't be right. <laughs> uh, hold on. I know what I'm doing here. I have to get the extra pieces here. Sorry, I forgot the extra pieces. I wanted to show you the stickers on these too, that's why I left them off. So here's these extra pieces. I left them off because I had to put the sticker on first, but once you get them on, you then can uh, use these here. So we plug these on here, nice and tight, and then plug them on here. Click, there he is. Okay, so he's got the, Whoa. he's got bazookas now, all mounted in here. Let's get them all uniform so he looks cool. There we go, there's a start. And uh, what else do you get here? Well. You get these pieces. These must be uh, extra ammunition. One, two, and uh, the Zaku machine gun rounds are in there. So you have this this piece here, and when you stick them all on here, they actually look like this. Okay. So can you see that? Yep. Okay. So look at that, and I will uh, try my best to get these guys on here, make the matching set. It's actually uh, quite simple. But of course, it's taking you time just because you have to do so much of these extra little things. So yeah, it's just like the full armor unicorn, right? So with those on, you then plug them into the side of this this tank thruster, whatever you want to call it. It's supposed to kind of hook on there, is my guess. Maybe this one. What am I doing? Ah, uh, I get you. This side. Maybe. There he goes. Plug him on the side there. Like so. There, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to lie. I'll put this guy here for now. Okay, you also get uh, these little clubs. I can't remember the name. I should probably remember. But you also get, you get four of them, but you only need three. Okay. So you, you once again, here we go. Here we go. There they are. And uh, they will plug onto this part right here. 
So you have an extra one, you can put it in his hand. Now, uh, you are also getting, uh, where are we here? Here's the Zaka machine gun that we're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. And the Heat Hawk. Here's the axe. Now these also will go in his hand. But when not in his hand, they also can put into the side here. Let's see, this goes like that's it. And this one goes on top and down. Kind of just hangs on, according to what I saw there. Okay. And now you're getting two giant bazookas. The really huge things, actually, for a Zaku. These don't mount on, as far as I can tell, onto this thing. Uh, but what I will have to do is show you these arms. Here's the arms. Now this is similar to the full armor uh, Gundam we showed a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You get these arms. And of course you have to stick these stickers on here. More stickers. It all represents like a little joint, right? Mm -hmm. So this, this arm technically, looking at these joints, would be pretty bendy. That's not the case. It doesn't bend at all. But uh, what you do is you pull off these parts like so and you can drop these arms in so we'll plug these guys mm. in they thought of everything they, they there's the kitchen sink definitely did a lot of work that's for sure if i can line it up properly like so right okay yeah come on you With, uh, with this though, um, you, it can like spin around or you can swap them like if I want to, to take this apart, click. And then I can put this arm here so it faces forward. So you have both options, forward and back. And when you have this, this arm facing uh, back, you can actually take off the bazooka here. Oh, and attach it to that arm. Yeah, so I can have them facing forward or back. But this one will do back like the manual shows, right? Um, you should be able to actually get it to kind of grip onto the hand, sorry, or this hand, the handle. According to the manual, it should grip onto this part right here. There it goes, clicked oh. in and everything. So now I can have it like this, or I can have it facing forward, whichever side I want. Like this guy is loaded up. It's it's almost insane just how much how much stuff you have. I mean, they do give you um, parts for extra hands, so you can make it to hold uh, one of the bazookas or one of the heat hawks or whatever you want. But uh, with most of it, it's going to all just stage on the back here. And uh, while we're talking about lots of stuff, you know, lots of weapons, lots of thrusters, lots of stickers, check out the the markings. This is the the markings for an HG kit. And just the amount of them, it looks mm. very similar to an MG. And the similarities don't end there because if you look at the manual, here's the last page. Like this is very much a Master Grade style marking guide at the end of this yeah. manual. It shows you everywhere you can stick all of these markings. And uh, if you're going to do everything on this kit, build everything, all the foil stickers, and then go all markings. Like you're looking at uh, an HG kit that will take you the same amount of time as some of the Master Grade kits out there. So it's actually a pretty good deal, I think, uh, just for the amount of stuff you get to work on. Yeah, it is really cool. But uh, this is now just a big mess, and we need to carry on with the show here. So I'm going to clean this up, and uh, we'll continue. So there you go, Ryan, the High Mobility Zaku. Actually, I think the official title is High Mobility Zaku 2 Psycho Zaku Thunderbolt Gundam version. And would you agree with me? It has more thrusters per inch than other, any other Zaku? Yeah, it's thruster up. Thruster <laughs> up the max. I don't know. <laughs> what slang I want to use for that, but uh, speak, it has a lot of plastic. I already just showed you everything it comes mm -hmm. with, but look in the box, you also end up with parts that you're not even going to use. There you go. So, more plastic, more plastic. More fun. Everybody loves their plastic, apparently. Uh, questions? Yes. Mr. Luke Fox. Yes, what does he say? No better way to spend half an hour than watching Gunpla TV. That's a good comment. I can kind of feel the love there. Mm -hmm. Should point out that when we film this, we don't think that it has to be half an hour long. We just kind of go through our process. Film what we need to film, and by the time we uh, edit it down, it generally runs half an hour, a little bit more sometimes. Yeah, we script it, we write it up, yeah. we storyboard we it. We have done enough of these then... episodes now that we can do it without thinking about it. <laughs> we think. Well, people watching will probably find that. <laughs> <laughs> Next, mm -hmm. Alejandro Flores. Yeah. Guys, why don't you ever give Robot Damashi any love? Uh, generally, Robot Damashi, a lot of them are sold out before mm -hmm. they even arrive. So. 
open those up when people want to purchase them. It's kind of zuri. And um, our, our robot. Yeah. He uh, does he, what well, he used to do with the Damashi stuff for us. I think yeah. He still does. So check out his channel okay. to find out more. Uh, the guy continues. Also, I built the RG GPO one FB as my first kit, and I've come across the problem with the waist joint being weak due to the waist joint. I've, mm -hmm. I've read that a top coat could help with that problem, but I never painted before, so I don't know what to really do. Any tips? Thanks. Uh, well, if he's what, talking about using a top coat to kind of um, stiffen up a joint. Top coat is clear, so you don't really have to worry about like painting it. Yeah, yeah it's put not it on. painting. Um, what it will do is it will just add a little extra layer to, uh, um, you know, top coat, you mm -hmm. know, covering to the plastic. So it's just a little bit thicker mm -hmm. by micromillimeters. So when you actually connect that joint, it's a little more friction and it will move less. Friction joint. Yeah. All makes sense. And yes. it's not painting. Dustin Lee. Mm -hmm. So I started using X-Acto knives for gunplay and I love it. Okay. But I kind of need some help because sometimes I cut into the plastic. Any tips? Okay, well, yeah, we can do a, a little tip here right now because I just happen to have some extra plastic lying around. Sid's tips. And a knife. So uh, let's talk about uh, removing stuff with knives. All right, we're going to talk about using the design knife. And uh, I'm going to use these extra parts I got from the Thunderbolt uh, Zach here and uh, show you guys. Now, if you look at uh, most... Um, Gundam manuals, they always have this, the very first page is kind of like a, um, how you say, instructions, mm -hmm. how you should go about building your Gundam. And they always say, well, when you're going to cut the part off of the runner, you should, and we'll use this piece as an example, you should cut leaving some of the gates. So I'm going to leave a lot just so it's very noticeable here. And when you cut using, leaving some of the gate and take the piece off, all that tension that kind of builds up when the plastic is going through the mold, it's, it's gone. You know, it's all gone here. So when you start cutting off pieces, uh, you're not going to experience any kind of like resistance, mm -hmm. so to speak. But they do say that uh, after you've cut off, uh, removed it from the runner, you should use a design knife. So uh, what you should do is try to get on a flat surface. And sometimes it's difficult because this part has edges, right? So what I want to do is just try to get it to rest. And I want to move my knife on the same direction that the, the edge of the piece is. If I have my angle incorrectly, what's going to happen is I'll cut off the nub, but I'll dig into the part on the other mm. side of it. So it's almost better to kind of go the opposite way. And maybe you're going away from the part. Mm. And then if you do take some off, here we go. go. If you still have a little bit left, that's okay because you can always come at it again a little care more carefully next time and bring it down. You can see a, there's going to be a mark there. Mm. But if you look... I'll use this example here. If I just use my cutters, cutting against the resistance of the, the plastic on some kits, especially bigger gate marks, you're going to get, definitely going to get a mark. Yeah. And oftentimes it's going to be rough. Yeah. And oftentimes it's going to be bigger than if you used a design knife. So if you're not planning on painting your kits, just going out of the box, you should definitely um, try it this way, which does mean that you're kind of cutting things at least, at least twice. Like now, um, here, this is what I want to show you too. I'm going to do one more. One more. I think we showed this in the early days of Gunpla TV here. Uh, yeah, that's good enough for me. Um, if you do chop it off, here we go, chop. Oh, it's kind of rough. You can take the edge of your knife and just kind of rub it on there. You'll remove some of the plastic all the way along it but it will be smooth right mm. if you don't want to go in there with sandpaper you gotta make sure your design nice sharp and go in like that and you will actually uh you'll remove a little bit of plastic on the other side of the gate mark but you'll get that nice smooth kind of feel and you'll be able to feel it with your fingernail if you go up over it with your fingernail if there is still kind of uh unevenness you'll feel it and you can always have the option of uh taking more off right but uh that looks pretty good, like you're not seeing any gate mark now. Mm. So that's that's how I kind of advise new people who have no plan on painting their kits to kind of go at these parts just like that. Alexander Schneider. Yeah. This is from uh, Hobbyland TV. Yep. From the episode 143, Everybody's actually. Everybody's leaving comments. Like, yeah, yeah, this is all the comments. Fan as always, true indeed. Thanks for the awesome work and help. Is. Yep. Show us the wall of boxes or stacks. Respect to your com you and your company. Without HLJ and your show Gunpla, it wouldn't be the same. I like that comment. Wow, that's kind of like we, we are heavily involved in the community, which usually 
gives back to us, I think. Yeah, I get so no, much definitely. from the internet and the Gumpa TV community. Uh, he wants to see the stack of boxes. Well, I have brought a, a huge portion of them in. Should we show them? We should show them. All right. Winselm. Mm -hmm. Duel looks awesome. Loving the show and hope I will win something eventually. Talk about the RG Exia. Yeah, and I love that end because look at the next oh. comment. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to talk about the RG Exia. Choir music. Choir music. Oh! Yes, I noticed a lot of comments on the last episode were for the RG Exia mm -hmm. Gundam. And I, I'm excited. It's an RG. I love RG. I'm not so loves such RG. an Exia fan, but I like it. But uh, just the amount of like interest in that kit. It's not good. Pretty yes. interesting to me. RG know? was such a good di decision by yes, Bandai. Yes, I know. They yeah. really, really knocked it out of the park on that one. So I believe it's an April release. So we got to wait a month, and then uh, yeah, we're going to be here showing on the show. And uh, um, I think there's some promotional items that might be coming with that, but I don't know yet. If yeah, it's going to we'll be a general we'll, release. We'll look into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. next is Calvin one one six eight. Yeah. Too bad the Phoenix is discontinued, Sid. Ah uh, yes, this comment has also appeared quite often uh -huh. on uh, various places. Um, when you see discontinued on our site, that's not always true, especially when it comes to Gundam, because what that represents is the information we are getting from our distributors. And mm -hmm. for the example, the Phoenix, a kit that expensive, Bandai is not going to produce as regularly. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they break it up like maybe six months chunks. And uh, it was the same with the uh, Titanium Finish uh, Shinanju Vision Kyle one point as well. And uh, when we contact our distributors saying, you know, we need this kit. If they come back to us and say it's unavailable at this time, well, then we, can, we can't really take orders for it because mm -hmm. we don't know when it's coming. So mm -hmm. it, it will move to discontinued on our site once it's all sold out. And it's not uncommon for us to have a kit move to discontinued. And then a week later, our distributors get word from Bandai that it's coming again. And right back, it goes back to being able to be purchased. So uh, just because you see a Gundam kit discontinued, especially a new one like mm -hmm. the Phoenix, doesn't necess necessarily mean you're not going to be able to get it. Just keep an eye yeah, on just it. Just keep an eye on and, it. And yeah. uh, there's a good chance it's going to come right back. And, and if it's a popular it kit, it will come back. Yeah, most it's times. mostly the expensive ones. Like if Bandai has to make like uh, this one is what what was the price twelve thousand yen mm. or something like that. And the uh, Shinanju Titanium was the same, was twelve thousand yen somewhere in there. Like uh, yeah, because it costs so much to make these, they don't make them as often. That's all. And they so. want to see the response, and then they produce more normally. Yeah. Next, Graal. Man, you guys have the best jobs in the world. I've wanted to build Sometimes. Gunpla for years, but I've never managed to get the funds to actually buy the kits. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, I've misunderstood your competition, thinking that all the kits would go to one person, and so the odds would be astronomical. But this, this is a dream come true to me, even if I don't win. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to give the high entire collection to one person. Like, I'm not paying for that shit, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the container will arrive yeah. at the port nearest your house on June yeah, no. the 13th. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, the easiest way to get as many people involved, as I said before, is we'll do two kits at a time, send them off to the dudes. And uh, a lot of people, I think, they're, they're hoping that, you know, for example, we showed the, uh, the Phoenix last week. They're, they're hoping that we f give the Phoenix away <laughs> this week. No, that's not what's going to happen. Oh, We're going to no. start with the older stuff yeah. first, right? So uh, by the time we get around <laughs> to giving away the Phoenix, uh, it will be, you know, a, a couple years old, well, yeah. a year old at least. I, Judging by the stack of boxes, because <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to give away that first thing that no, no, it just comes out. Because I, I want to keep it for myself yeah, for a while. So it wants to appreciate There's a good chance beauty. I might uh, want to try to do something with it. Mm -hmm. so. Next, Matsuo. Yeah. Now's, a, now's as good a time as any to watch Gunpla TV. Great episode as always. Now to just fill the time until the next one. What better way to do than by building Gunpla? You didn't read the, uh, the first part. 3.52 a.m. 3.52 a.m. This guy's hardcore. What are you doing, dude? What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to watch Gunpla TV and build a Gundam. I guess you can be kind of quiet. It's not like you're playing your guitar and I'm too old out. to be up at 3.52. Sid still does it, though. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leo Wolf. Sign the manuals. I just realized how much I like the music you have for the intro and outro. Sign the manuals. That's not a bad idea, seeing as we're giving two Actually, kids away each time. Idea. If we had the manual, I might scroll my name in there somewhere. Bad I might even yeah. do it myself. Yeah? yeah? If you want Ryan's too, let me know. Yeah, if you want mine, you, know. <laughs> you don't need it. Wink. <laughs> Mini Mad. That Zaku reminds me of the FA Unicorn. Another good show. Keep it up. That's exactly what I saw when I was, not only when I saw the High Nobility at first, but when I was building it. Mm -hmm. And you start 
putting on the 18 bazookas and the, you know, the five rifles and whatever else. And I thought, this is just like the full armor unicorn with, you know, everything on its back. <laughs> There's this trend going around right now. <laughs> Things that can't stand up trend. Is that what right. you mean? Yes. Um, GN. My baby boy sits on my knee and watches Gunpla TV with me. Oh. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. That's kind of cool. The Akai Corner, nearly 40. You don't look a day over 27. P.S. Gundam Kid, please. So I just want to say that the Akai co comment there is my new favorite person. <laughs> Cornet, right now. sorry. Yeah? Yeah, so. Yes. Yes. I'm 27. So, Sounds good to me. Yeah. That's one way to rub you up. Fox Williamson. <laughs> Random number. <laughs> <laughs> Fine shows as always, boys. Sid. Un yeah. yeah, Unicorn Mefe also had that split hip issue, but yeah. I solved by kick coding the moving parts to tighten them up, then gluing the crown on. And well, there, there you go. Sorry, um, this is an example of what that previous person asked at the beginning, like clear coding to stiffen up a joint. This person did it with his uh, full armor unicorn, right? So, we have evidence. And there's no crime being okay. almost forty, long as your hobby does not harm does anyone. No harm. All the yeah. power to you, yeah. Ryan. They got to pry that falcon from your cold. They will have to. Uh, my hobby has not done any harm yet. No. That's because I finally agreed to move it all out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, after watching Sid a little, you know, maybe there's some kids I could probably... Maybe, let's see. But maybe. anyway, Sid has got a big announcement. Uh, yeah, I have the, the winners of the this week's winner, singular, for two prizes. Let me just dig them out here. Oh. Once Whoa. again, ah, this is what I'm giving away this week. Extreme Gundam. Extreme Gundam. Extreme Gundam. Gundam. Extreme rock and roll Eddie Van Halen guitar. You know, when I was building this kit, I thought, I wonder um, if I can paint his gun slash guitar to look like Eddie Van Halen's guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought, okay, I'll have to use some red. Well, you could get one there. of those Kaon guitars and just give him a real guitar. No, see, it's too lazy <laughs> for both of us. All right, and the, the dual yes, Gundam. Yes, yes. We showed these last week. With the assault so. shroud, everything just thrown in there. Everything should be here. And we no pack guarantees. it into one small box. Well, Sid yeah. does that. I'm going to pack it in the smallest box as possible, just to save us all on shipping because we're not going to bankrupt ourselves giving away stuff. All right, so um, this week's winner, uh, I typed in, uh, there's 448 comments, I believe. And uh, random uh, number generator said con comment number 137. So that this goes to Josh Chung, who wrote, Cool looking Phoenix main. <laughs> looking forward to the new episode. You guys gonna be looking at the Exia? Yeah. The thing is baller. <laughs> hoping I win those models. All right. Well, hoping I win those models. It's well, a lucky I'm day, good. Josh Chung. I will be sending you an email, and I'll, I will be asking your uh, your shipping address, yep. and I will be shipping those kits off to you. Mm -hmm. And okay. episode one forty four, the contest we are giving away oh. kits we give away this week. We're going Let's have Gundam, a look at these. Gundam Age this week, Ryan. Gundam Age. Gundam Age this week. First is going to be the Gundam Age FX. Let me, all let's of have its, a look. Uh, Let me pop this baby open. With all of its little cool parts. Yeah, I remember this car. Oh, yeah, this was pretty cool. Well. That I, was, I uh, do like the uh, that was really cool. Yeah. I like the H1, I like the Age of X. Age 2, not a big fan, but you can see all the foil stickers in there. Oh, yeah, everything. There. Like all the foil stickers. They haven't even been put on there. You yeah. can do whatever you like. And uh, Titus. What's next? The Titus. Ooh, the Titus. Ooh, the Titus. And it's all here, too. So there you go. Oh, nice. with all this was pretty cool as well. I, I do I like, like those the effects spots. Yeah. So there you go. Here's uh, this big hand. Sorry, I'll dig it up. I like that. You got to comment awesome. to win. So comment on Hobbit TV episode 144. 144, and you can win the Titus and the Only one person. Only one person wins both. Enter now while supplies last, etc. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll Small print over. below the episode. That's right. Okay, so open to resonance of. <laughs> that's it for world. us yes yeah. i will just remind everyone we have a youtube channel yep and a blog and groups mm -hmm. and the groups are still mm -hmm. going the somebody site has been updated somebody it all seems good. said something in the comments of 143 about instagram yeah. one day i thought i'd just throw that out there and see what he says there's instagram there's tumblr there's, there's there's a bunch there's google yeah. plus <laughs> no there's no <laughs> Anyway, yes, and we have uh, Facebook, and yeah. uh, you know, follow us, like us, comment. Yep. We always like to hear from you, and we try our best to get back to you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all I need to say. Okay, well, we have the big MG for the month in the uh, Build Strike, yes. or sorry, I always say Build Strike, it's 
Build Gun and Mark II are excellent, so maybe. Uh, I think I'm going to be trying to put that together. Okay. Because cool. I want to show people just uh, how similar it is and how different mm -hmm. it is, because there's a lot of the same, uh, same parts, as I mentioned before, to the previous uh, Mark II MG. So we'll be showing that next week and whatever else we can get our hands on. And uh, we'll see you later. See ya.